I have a revolutionary tip for you today. I am Kristen with IcyStarsQuilting.com. I love to share tips, tricks, and tutorials for the modern quilter, and I want to make your life easier so that you can do more of what you love to do and less of the things that you don't want to do. You're gonna love this. It's super simple, it's super cheap, and this tiny little tool will clean your sewing machine better than anything else I have ever, ever seen. It's this little tool right here. It is a mascara wand. Do you see this? It comes in lots of different colors, but I ordered them in pink. And this tool is absolutely amazing at cleaning your sewing machine. I bought a pack of 100 of these for probably, I wanna say it was like 4.99, I think. Don't like quote me on that, but I know it was like under five bucks. So I think I bought a pack of a hundred of these for like under five bucks. Prior to this, I was using Q-tips. Q-tips is kind of like widely known as the tool to be like, it's thin, it can get in there, and the cotton kind of magnetizes itself to the Q-tip. Once you use a mascara wand, you will never, ever, ever consider using a Q-tip again. Let me show you what this baby does. This is just a side note. Um, I have no idea what the inside of my sewing machine looks like. I cleaned it out a couple weeks ago when I started on another project, but I have not opened it up since then. So we are going to discover what dirt lies beyond there together. <music> Okay, I kind of feel like I am like bearing my soul here, but it's been a busy few weeks of sewing. So this is what I'm looking at right now. All right, it's not terrible. I will admit it has been worse, but we are going to clean this up in a jiffy. And then I usually like to just start going for like the biggest areas, like right there. See, I got a little bit on my wand there. Like I said, I cleaned out some of the big stuff before, but this is going to amazingly... Oh, look at that. That's a fun find. I was wondering what that noise was the other day and why I could not find that thread that was in there. So this is going to help you, like, get all that lint like a magnet. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Right there. So this is going to allow you to still get into those same small areas that your q-tips would allow you to get into all of those areas but you're going to pick up so much more lint and just kind of pull it off and keep going and then you can kind of brush the areas make sure you get as much dusted off as possible. I don't normally use the canned air but that is something else that you can use if you want like absolutely perfect cleaned insides. Do you see that? I know that what we started with was kind of gross, okay? But all of this extra stuff, actually, I think I'm gonna go and switch to a new wand and do both of them. I love to get all this stuff off the top because eventually, the more you sew, it's going to find its way down in your machine. And so I'm not being rough at all here. I'm being very careful, very cautious. Ew, I got another one. But I'm making sure that I get into all of these. And this is kind of flexible on the end, okay? So it works like a Q-tip, but I'm just gonna say it again. It works better than a Q-tip. And actually, I'm gonna pull out this too. Now your sewing machine may be different on the inside. So if things look different, you know, it's okay. I have a Janome model, but they're all a little bit different. Um, one thing that I find I seem to miss is these little holes in here. Ew, look at that. And another thing that you want to make sure and get is inside all of these little feed dogs right here, because this is where I tend to make lint. You know, it's just, it's really tightly packed. You see that? Ew. That's like both amazing and disgusting at the same time. So, um, if you are a mother of boys, you know that sense of awe and 
disgust at the same time, right? So there, like not even 10 seconds ago, I had a clean wand and look at all of that lint that has come off. So, ew. So that is amazing. Keep going, you know, find all the little holes to pull some lint out of. Again, I'm being very gentle. I'm not, oh, look, I got a big one. Do you see that? I got a big one. So again, I'm being very gentle. I'm not forcing it. I'm not bending any of the hardware in here. But this, ew, I swear I just cleaned this not even like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. So and this is all from just one project. Like you can see even more is piling up. So I'm going to keep cleaning here for a little bit and show you all of the beautiful things that I find in here. So there, that right there, all these little pieces of thread, little pieces of fabric, lots of lint and tiny fibers everywhere, all from inside my machine within a matter of weeks and one project. Oh, look, there's even some there that I missed. All right, I'm gonna put my machine back together and it is done. It is beautiful, it is nice and ready for my next project. I hope that you have learned something today. Go ahead and hit me up in the comments down below. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I have so much amazing stuff that I have been like just dying to share with you in 2021. It's going to be great. We're going to be so creative and wonderful together. I cannot wait to leak some of this content out to you. As 2020 was coming to an end, I've been trying to kind of structure out how I'm going to uh, take this channel in 2021 and what we're going to do. And I have to tell you, it's going to be amazing. So right underneath this, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And then right after that, there's a little bell. Make sure you hit that because that will alert you every time that I upload a new video. It will be weekly. It's going to be fun. I am so pumped and excited for 2021 and I can't wait to share all of the beautiful things that we make together in 2021 with you. I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Oh, don't forget to go clean your machine. Bye.